Hi there everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I am finally going to be going over this hunk of metal right behind me here. Uh, but firstly I need to move the Camaro here out of the garage and I'll take any excuse to start this thing up. And apparently Mr. Brody here wants to help out. So let's uh, let's get started with it. Brody. Hey there big guy. Hi you. Oh don't be camera shy. Come over here. Come over here. You gotta introduce yourself. Tell him you were famous and you were on Hot Rod Magazine's Instagram page. Brody, you want to help out with the engine, don't you? Hey, where are you going? How am I going to build this thing alone? You're just going to quit? We're going to lose a shop if you leave like this, Brody. Someone's got to work the day shift here. Oh, oh my gosh, guys, that's embarrassing. I was trying to go for a uh, engine masters type look and I just assumed they just waved a bunch of lights around whenever they did that. So uh, let's talk about the engine now. Okay, so that's enough messing around, guys. Let's actually talk about this block here. And I've had this thing for about six months sitting around in the garage and we've just been waiting for the uh, project that it's gonna go into to start to come together and for more parts of this thing to uh, come in the mail. And that's starting to happen, so I figure what time better than now to uh, tell you guys about it. And this thing is a ATK high performance, 383 cubic inches, small block Chevy. So uh, this thing is pretty stout. Um, this is the SP53 model that they offer. And basically all they do is take seasons, uh, seasoned used blocks and they bore them out, hone them out, uh, do whatever they have to do to make sure it's good to go and they uh, rebuild it basically and sell it as a package. Just like any short block you can buy really. Uh, this specific model has uh, four bolt main caps. It features a scat crankshaft with 3.75 inch stroke and it is a forged crank. Um, it is 4340 forged. Uh, it also features 5.7 inch rods from scat as well, forged as well, 4340. And up top here it has forged pistons and these are negative five cc, so they are just barely a dish, but basically flat top pistons. So for these ATK blocks, uh, they come in a range of years that they refresh, and it can be anywhere from 86 to 2000, so that basically puts it in the range of being a, uh, a roller block here. So these lifter boards are a little bit higher, but you can still run a hydraulic uh, flat tap a camshaft, which we plan on doing this for, uh, for a bit. So as you can see here, guys, this block comes pre-assembled, like most of the short blocks you can order. Um, everything is torqued down to spec, everything is installed, the cam bearings are installed, it's all good to go. All the plugs are in, you can see there's a bunch of machine marks everywhere, so someone did a lot of stuff on here and before I put it together I'm going to double check a lot of stuff just to make sure it's right, but still it's pretty much good to go. You basically just need your heads, put those on there, your, uh, your oil pump needs to go on here, your camshaft, but there's not much to do here guys. It's a pretty uh, simple short block. All right, so here's just a quick walk around before I uh, let you guys go here. But as you can see, the machine work looks pretty uh, pretty good to me. Someone was pretty thorough on everything. You can see that plug installed right there. I already shined a light down in here for that plug. That one's good to go. Um, you can see there, our one-piece seal is on there. And that has to do with the age of the block as well. This newer block's going to have a uh, one-piece seal instead of a two-piece. Um, let's see here. All the plugs are installed. 
Everything looks pretty good over here. There's the underneath. You can see the four bolt main, the rods down in there. Pretty good work. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. And, you know, we're pretty excited to get this thing uh, in the car here and hear it, uh, hear it run. We're going to be putting these Pro Max heads on it. I uh, made a quick little video about those if you want to check it out. As well as this single plane uh, manifold. It's just a cheap one. It should do for, do for a while until we can hopefully get a tunnel ram on the thing. But we'll see. One step at a time. Uh, the camshaft on this. Uh, I think we're going to go with a comp cam. But that uh, we still have to decide on that. But I'll definitely be making some videos on it. But uh, I think that's all I have to say about the, the engine here, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. And stay tuned if you want to uh, keep up to date on this engine build here. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.